All right, welcome to episode 10 from chapter 13. And in this episode, we're going to cover the structure and function of the cell membrane. So let's get started on the functions. As you can see here, there's two functions. Number one, regulate what goes in and what goes out of the cell. And that's going to be done by these channel proteins in here mainly. So stuff can come in this way, and it can also go out that way. It's also going to be used in cellular communication. And this is real important, especially in multi cellular organisms. But it's actually, even if you're uh, unicellular, it's still important, but it's doubly important when you're multicellular. So you're going to need to have things in the cell membrane that are used to identify each cell or each, uh, each membrane piece, and that's going to be this one right here. Okay, we're going to talk about these. These are really known as marker proteins. We're going to go over this stuff again later in this screencast, so if you don't get it right now, that'll be fine. And then binding sites for proteins, and that's going to be these guys like right in here. And so those are called receptor proteins. All right, so we've marked this all up, but we have other pictures later that we're going to mark up. So let's get rid of this stuff. Let's go on to the next one. All right. When we talk about the cell membrane and its structure, we're going to go over what is called the lipid mosaic model. And so let's tell you what all this means. Okay, so lipid refers to it's made out of fats, oils, and waxes, those kind of things that we le learned about in Chapter 2. But specifically, we're talking about phospholipids. And we have a picture coming up where we're going to label the parts of it, so we're not going to worry about that right now. And then mosaic, if you think about your Roman history and your Byzantine history, how they would make these little artworks out of different colored tiles and arrange it to make a picture, uh, what that means here is it's just made out of different stuff. So as you look down here below in all these numbers, this is what it's made out of. All right, so first one is it's a lipid bilayer. Two layers. See, bi means two. And we've got our phospholipids. And we'll draw a little picture here. Okay, phospholipids, they have a polar head, and then they have nonpolar tails. And you know that phospho part in it? There's going to be a P right in there. That's where the phosphate is. Okay, and then we have transport proteins. And transport proteins are going to look like this. So let's mix up our colors here. Let's go with three. There we go. That's still green. There we go, blue. So... We have two layers of phospholipids. They're going to look like this. The heads are going to go to the outside. Tails are going to go to the inside. Put them over here some more. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's all our tails to the inside. And then we've got this channel protein. And we're going to draw them like this. So that there's a little pathway in it. So the channel protein is this red stuff right in here. And what this will allow things to move in and to move out. So that's what a channel protein looks like. Okay, on marker proteins, they're going to look like this. So we'll draw it over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. These will be the polar heads again. Tails, tails, tails. Tails, tails, tails. Tails to the inside. Heads to the outside. And let's go back to, let's use red again. And so a marker protein is going to be this big globular protein that goes all the way through. But it's also going to have these chains of carbohydrates sticking out in here. Okay, So we're going to label these right here as carbs. And then this would be the marker protein in red. So sometimes we refer to these guys as a glycoprotein. Glyco refers to the carbohydrate. And think of it like a braille name tag where these things here are going to act like the braille bumps and so another cell is going to feel that and it's kind of read it like braille and it's going to go okay you've got the right amount of sugar so you belong to be here all right receptor protein are related to these marker proteins so let's get our blue up here so we'll, we'll draw our polar heads again put our tails to the inside Okay, more polar heads over here, tails, 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 tails to the inside. And then a receptor protein, we'll still use our red that we've had before. 
the receptor protein is going to have like a specific shape to it. And this shape is going to fit a particular signal molecule. So we'll say that this signal molecule is a hormone that's shaped like this. All right. So let's get our green, which is that one. Okay, so this one right here is a signal molecule, which is often a hormone, like insulin, and then a receptor protein is this guy in red right there. Okay, so this is a kind of a simple drawing of all these, but these are the four things, a lipid bilayer, transport protein, a marker protein, a receptor protein, and it's a bilayer. There's two layers because you've got polar heads to the outside, you've got details to the inside. All right. Well, if you do not like this picture that I have drawn, believe it or not, somebody else has made one a little better. So if we look over here in this picture, and let's just use blue to draw on this here. Let's go down here. Here's your phospholipid. And actually right in here, there would be the phosphate. So hydrophilic is another word that means water-loving. And that's the same as polar. Hydrophobic means water-fearing. It's just another word for non-polar. So what we have out here is we have polar regions to the outside. And then all these tails in here, they're going to be nonpolar. So we've got a little barrier. Polar things can't get past this, et cetera, et cetera. Now, really small molecules like oxygen and carbon dioxide, they can get in out of here no matter what. It's easy for them to get in and out. Okay. Now, down here, we have the lipid bilayer in more detail. And I want you to label some of these pictures. That guy right there, that's a channel, or also known as a transport protein. Let me get myself caught up here. This guy right in there. Draw that around there. That would be your marker protein. Marker proteins are very easy to see because that got that sugar side chain on it, okay? So I'm gonna draw this right down here. That green stuff right here, that would be a carbohydrate. That makes it a marker protein. And then there's not very drawn very well in here, but we're gonna do this. This guy right there, receptor protein. All right, I'm gonna make sure I got all these. Yep, I got them all labeled. Okay, that's gonna end this episode real short, but it's real important. I mean, I drew all over this stuff, so you need to make sure you go back and review it. I mean, like the previous slide had all those colored stuff, like you gotta know what a transport protein is, you need to know what uh, marker proteins, et cetera, et cetera. Very, very important that you go over this stuff because I might pull an essay out of here where you need to draw one of these pictures and draw and label a, a, a membrane. Okay, so don't forget, an essay question could easily be draw and label the parts of the lipid bilayer. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.